In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can show or hide the elemental sections of widgets based on the conditions you want. So for example, let's say you want a button to be visible to only logged in users or you want your website content to be dynamic and you want your logged in users to see something different and your logged out users to also see a different type of content. You can follow along with this tutorial. And without wasting much time, let's get started. So first thing we need to do is to log into our WordPress admin area and then we're going to come to plugins and select add new. So right here, we're going to be searching for a plugin called Visibility Logic for Elemental. So here is the plugin. We're going to install the plugin and also activate it. So the plugin has been installed and activated. The next thing I'm going to do now is to visit the page and also open up that page with Elemental. So we're here inside our Elemental editor and we're going to start by editing a few sections here. So first of all, we're going to be editing this button. So we're going to click this pencil icon. And as you can see here, we have another option that says Tax Visibility. So under this Tax Visibility option, we're going to enable the visibility logic. And as you can see, it says Show or Hide Action. Now we're going to select Show. And then we're going to scroll down to User Row. And then we're going to make this plugin visible to only log dash users. As you can see, it says Try Collabi for free. And this is targeted at those that are not yet logged in into their accounts. So we're going to enable this option and then we're going to select guests. So what we can do now is to come back here to right click on this button and we're going to select duplicates. Now for the second button, we're going to make this one visible to logged in users. So we're going to come back to stacks visibility. I'm going to come back to user row and we're going to select logged in users while we're going to remove this option for the guests. And as you can see, you can also select several type of user roles like administrator, editor, author, contributor, subscriber, customer, that is if you're using um, WooCommerce, shop manager if you're using WooCommerce, and also tutor instructor if you're using a plugin like tutor LMS. Now that we've selected this logged in user role, we're going to come to content to change the content to fit in for a logged in user. So you can just come here to say, visit your account so this is how you can just change your content on your website to make it more dynamic you can do so for virtually anything on your website let's say you don't want this thing to appear to your logged in users you can change it or you want the contents of the design to be different based on your users um your user rule you can use this plugin to do that also so let me just make one more example here towards the end at the call to action so right here, we're just going to duplicate this whole section. All right. So for the sec first section, this is going to be visible to the logged in users. And for the second section, we're going to make it visible to logged out users. So this one for the logged in users, we're going to change the text here. So first of all, let's select this. Let's edit this container. Come to stacks visibility, enable the visibility logic. And um, we're going to show this to I said logged in users, right? Uh, we're going to come to user role and we're going to enable it and also we're going to select logged in users so for the title we're going to change it to something different uh let's just say um start creating um uh, yeah let's just use start creating it doesn't really matter you can just try to craft out something good for your whole live website and the button is definitely going to change so for the button, we're going to say visit your accounts. All right. Now this is for the logged out users. We're going to edit this container and everything is okay as it is. We're just going to come to stacks visibility. We're going to enable the visibility logic option and we're going to show this to, um, we're going to show it to the logged out user. So we're going to select guest under this option. All right. And as you can see, we have other options here also. We have the user meta, we have date and time, and we have browser type. Those are the three options. And for the pro plans, we have IP and referral, geolocation, and several other options available for you in the pro version. So in case you'll need any of these features, you can try to consider the pro version for this plugin. And okay, let's just update this page. All right, now is the time for us to see whether what we did is actually working. So I'm going to click on this hamburger icon here and I'm going to view this page in a new tab. Since I'm logged in into my account as an administrator, I should be able to see the changes that we made for the logged in users. Okay, so here we have it. We can see the button is showing for the logged in users. It says visit your account. And if we should scroll down to check the second one, the second section that we changed, we can see 
it says start creating visit your account now let's view this page as a logged out user we're going to just open a new private in private window i'm going to paste the link there and we're going to check whether it's actually showing a different thing for our logged out users all right so we have it here it says try collab for free and by the time we scroll down to the bottom it says start collaborating sign up so this is how you can just make your website more dynamic by showing um your designs and your widgets based on several conditions that you might like in case you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more and drop comments for future video suggestions that you might have for me and i will be sure to work on them in case you want to learn the best tips to build a landing page click on the video you're seeing on screen right now